I think he has no choice but to double down um, and keep going forward. Yeah, it's 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 really sad. Ultimately, I think it's very very sad. It kind of knocked the wind out of me, to be honest. But you know, I, I think the, this show excels when it takes those big risks, right? When it it takes uh, these kind of when it makes these choices that really go beyond people's expectations. And we are never going to speak to each other ever again. First of all, no. And and I think that in terms of storytelling, I think it's the right thing to do. That being said, like heart crushing you know oh, god I'm sorry. please I'm sorry. Hank, please okay. stop okay. touching me it's a difficult it's a difficult kind of pill to swallow um but also as an actor just incredibly rewarding to to you know to shoot scenes like that and to go there as an actor you know especially with uh someone like michael irby who's so talented and i just absolutely love working with him well, i didn't know it was gonna go this way okay where did you think it was going to go you know hank for the whole series has been this very nice guy i mean that was the thing he's polite and what and he goes through this thing in episode eight of see the end of season three where he has to kill he kills these people and he's almost eaten by a, a panther it's really harrowing and so now kind of like sally he has this feeling of wanting to feel safe and secure i feel like i understand him now understand him he's drawn to barry initially because he kind of understands barry a little bit better and it's like he kind of wants to connect with Barry and then he finds out Barry's betraying him. So it's kind of like, he doesn't want to be soft. I think that's the thing, like Cristobal says to him in episode two, you know, this is why people think you're soft. Body doesn't care about you. He never has. And he takes it too far. <laughs> if he wasn't soft, if he was like, a tough guy like he's trying to be, he would tell the Chechens to go themselves. Okay, you're upset, I get it. But he's not, he's polite, he's Hank, but he's trying to do this thing and in doing that, it does kind of mirror Barry in my mind in season one, where instead of getting rid of Taylor, the crazy guy, he ends up getting rid of Chris. You know, it's like, because he put this thing in motion, the wrong person got it. Cristobal, where are you going? I'm leaving you, Hank. Well, I think a big theme in this season is um, how people are projecting what they want to be uh, as opposed to who they re who they really are. And I think that Hank has been kind of projecting this kind of tough guy, mob boss, and ultimately, you know, he's just a big squish inside. And so, you know, when when the reality sets that like, you know, he played the wrong tactic, right? Uh, it's it's really it's really sad, and you see it reverse kind of immediately in that scene, and that's why that scene has so many dimensions to it. You killed all those men. That's what's bothering you. It does not pay off to posture in that way, and yeah, Hank Hank learns the hard way. <laughs> I think he has no choice but to double down um, and keep going forward, and ultimately. Yeah, ultimately keep um, keep building the lie, right? Keep building the lie that, that he is a, you know, this tough guy and that he did the right thing and all this stuff. Um, and, and yeah, it's 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 really sad. Ultimately, I think it's very, very sad. With him and, and Cristobal, that scene, I think, is one of the best scenes we've ever had in the show. I think it's a really powerful scene. I think they're both unbelievably good in that scene. Who are you? I'm Hank. No. He doesn't think... Chris is gonna leave me. He thinks I'm being tough. I'm not being soft right now. This is what it is. You wanna be a prime lord, now we're prime lords. This is what it is. So when Chris Ball says I'm leaving you, it's like, wait, I didn't, and, and Hank says that. It's like one of those heartbreaking scenes. I didn't see it going this way. And he's like, how else do you think it was gonna go, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Leave I, me alone. I didn't think this through, okay? I yeah, it's just awful. He, he really blows it. And then Chris Ball, I think, you know, Michael Urban, I was, you know, I think he's strong and he's he is a tough guy. He's like, no, he disrespected me. You really f me. I don't love you anymore. Like, I'm out. Sorry, Hank. We were hoping that wouldn't happen. There was a tough decision in the writer's room. When I first pitched in the writer's room, no one, everyone said, no, we can't do that. And then as I talked to him more about it and I was like, 
no, nah, I think this is the way it's got to go. They slowly, I think, I don't know. Maybe they still don't think we should. <laughs> I don't know. Because people love those characters so much. But I just was like, if you're going to show like change in the guy and he has to be different, this is like where it has to go.